Trump about to send National Guard to take over Miami Beach after what was just revealed about Rampage. Over the last several years, the left has been pushing for a race war to create as much chaos in the country as possible. Hate groups such as Antifa, Black Lives Matter, and the Black Panthers have appeared to be a part of this nefarious plan by stoking the flames of division. These terrorist groups have pledged to destroy the country in an all-out war against the American people which has everyone on edge. Every time a police officer has had to use deadly force that has involved a black person these radical liberal groups claim racism and proceed to riot in the streets. So, after this past weekend when the Miami Beach police had to use deadly force against the black woman everyone is wondering will this be the spark that starts a civil war and force President Trump to call in the National Guard. This past weekend, a black college student went on a rampage in Miami Beach, Florida that has left the residents in the busy city stunned. Carrie Indonis Hython, 22, was driving her black BMW through South Beach when she hit several cars which prompted the police to be called in to help. Instead of Hython pulling her vehicle over the young woman ran a red light before running over police officers in the area. After Hython ran over the officers, the police had no choice but to draw their weapons and fire at Hython which subsequently killed her. Here is more from Fox News. A Temple University student was shot and killed by police in Miami Beach on Sunday after she charged her car toward the officers, striking and injuring one, an incident a witness said, played out like a movie set. Carrie Indonis Hython, 22, was driving her black BMW when she crashed into several cars in South Beach, a popular tourist district, police said. Hython ran the red light and was traveling at some rate of speed, police said. Michael Davis, who witnessed the chaotic scene, told WSB and Hython repeatedly rear-ended cars. She rear-ended it, and after she rear-ended it, she drove off, Davis told WSBN. She actually drove off again and ran over a police officer, and after that, shots were fired. Another witness captured Hython hitting officer David Cajuso. Miguel Garcia, another witness, recalled. So everyone is like, oh my god. Oh my god. And people started running after her car. Like she wanted to escape no matter what. Other bystanders said they heard several shots fired before a crash. Python was rushed to the hospital where she later died of her gunshot wounds. Kajuso was taken to the hospital and treated for his injuries. He was released Monday morning. John Butchko, a retired Miami-Dade homicide detective whose car was struck by Hython, told the Miami Herald the deadly ordeal played out like a movie set with people running, screaming, car crashes, gunshots, an injured officer lying on his back on the ground, all within a minute. Butchko's passenger, Miami Beach lawyer Sean Ellsworth, said he was alarmed by her behavior. I was literally shocked she would drive into four or five officers. She just floored it. Ellsworth said. They both suffered minor injuries. It's unclear why Hython attempted to flee, but investigators said she and her friend, who casually got out of the car before Hython accelerated, were drinking heavily earlier Sunday. Investigators questioned the unidentified man, who was later released. Hython, who was from Bowie, Maryland, was in Miami to celebrate her birthday. She attended Temple University after transferring to the school from Hampton University. Temple University released a statement on Hython's death, saying their thoughts are with the Carrion's friends and family during this tremendously difficult time. Hython, who was part of mentorship programs for community children, was enrolled in the university's College of Liberal Arts program and expected to graduate with a degree political science in the spring. Python's father, retired U.S. Navy Captain Kerry Hython, told the Associated Press in a telephone interview on Tuesday that the police account of the shooting didn't sound like his daughter. The only logical explanation in this situation is she panicked, and things just escalated out of control.